Warning, the following contains content intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. The rest of my Final Fantasy series will be dedicated to my mom, who loved Final Fantasy almost as much as she loved her cats. I love you, Mom. I wish I had told you that more while you were still alive. What's up, peeps, and welcome back to another Before Episode chat with me, your host, Zon19. I am right before... Or I'm halfway through this recording session. This is the last episode that I'll record for this recording session. Um, just beat the Nodum. I'm literally going to complete the quest for the Nodum in this episode. I don't think I'll reach Doma Castle by the end of this episode, uh, which Doma Castle is the next dungeon, uh, obviously. Uh, I think it'll be... Uh, not this episode, but the next episode that I reach Doma Castle. If I reach it about halfway through, I'll be able to complete it in that episode, uh, which is what I hope to do. Uh, but I hold no doubt in my mind that the next hour is going to be consumed by these next uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 quests. Uh, good lord. But anyways, in order to get to that, I have to dive in and fucking do it. So let's get to it. Oh god, so hungry. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Delicious. Let's turn grit back on. There we go. Hey, Ian. Your Imperial friend uh, has truly impeccable timing. Had he come even a few moments earlier, he might have actually stood a chance. <laughs> in any event, that is two battles won in a single day. Which, by my reckoning, gives us twice the cause to celebrate. But first, I pray you grant me a moment to express my gratitude. Thanks to you, we are one step closer to freeing my homeland from the tyranny of the Empire. I am in your debt. Of course, if all goes to plan, this is like to be but the first of many such debts. Yet I promise to endure my insolvency with a smile out of gratitude to the Kami for seeing fit to send you hinder, or hither. You're welcome. Mount speed in the step has increased. Finally! Too bad I'm literally not going to be able to use it. Uh, glory to the Khan. Or the Han. He and has... Uh, what would best be described as a shite-eating grin. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, but it would be rude of me to monopolize your attention. Doubtless there are others who would speak with you. Let us go and greet uh, Tumulun Gatun. I have no idea how to fucking pronounce her name. And the one time that it was pronounced on camera by one of the characters, they said it so fast I didn't even actually hear it until later. Yeah. Welcome, warriors of the steppe. It is an honor to receive you once more. We observe the battle from a distance and mark the moment of your triumph. In that instance, I wept tears of joy. Not only did you bring us victory in the Nadam, but you ensured that every single one of my kinsmen returned with their lives. Some were gravely wounded, uh, more gravely wounded than others, but none were lost to us. We could not have asked for anything more. If it is not too much of an imposition, uh, would you be willing to go and speak with them? A simple gesture for those with whom you shared the battlefield. Alright. I can do that. They certainly did a good job not dying. Ah, I gotta speak with the diligent mole warrior. The one I had to cheer on and uh, psych up for the fight. Hey. Some part of me still struggles to believe it, but we won. We defeated the Orineer and the Dorthal and won. When they appeared before us, I was filled with such fear as I had never known. But then I saw you charge in with Serena and the others, and before I knew it, I was running and shouting. I will carry the memory of that moment with me always. As well as the moment when you became one with the Uvu and were declared Khan. The victory pose you struck was a sight to behold, I say. Would you be willing to show us again? 
Okay. Slash victory pose. That's not how you spell victory. Victory pose. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Don't ask how I can swirl it around. Wow, his face. Aye, that's the stuff of legends. That's the Han in all of his splendor. Praise to the be the Han, and to the gods for guiding him to us. Glory to the Han and his comrades. Forever and ever. A hundred years. The Han. Ha <laughs> ha. There is a metric shit ton of emotes that we're not even able to use because they're reserved specifically for NPCs. Uh, oh, I have to go back inside. Well, that was short-lived. Hey, Serena. Ah, Creed. I am told you gave the young warriors a fine show. Grandmother and I have been discussing how best to express our gratitude to you. Mere words do not seem sufficient. Sufficient. What's this? This is Morin Kerr, a traditional instrument of our people. The feats of great heroes like Bottom and Chanka are, reserve, are preserved in song. Yours too will live on for years to come. Perhaps one day you might learn how to play it, but even if not, you may look on the Morin Kerr and remember this time, this place. As we will when we hearken to the music. Alright. Ah, yeah. One of those things. Woohoo! I better understand how the movement of the winds work. Yes. It's high school science class all over again. In crimson they walked. Lord Hien's eyes are filled with such determination. At the risk of sounding impatient, we have certain pressing obligations. It is time that we saw to them. You're right. To whom much is given, much is expected. Nay, do not think yourselves so indebted to us. Was it not uh, you who gave us your blessing to participate in the Nadam, and you who saved Lord Hian from certain death? Doma is in your debt, and will ever be a friend to the Mole. And we to you, Gosetsu. A thought occurs to me. If you wish to return to Yansha with all haste, the passage to the south of the Dust Throne would offer the most direct route. The Dutharo sealed it with their magics during the Doman Rebellion, when more men and iron came from afar. If ever there was a time to open the pass, it is now. We should journey to Dorthal Ka. But before that, might we visit the Dawn Throne? I wish to speak with your most radiant brother. Are you sure that's a good idea? I know he agreed to fight for Doma, but I doubt he'll be very happy to see us so soon after we beat him. That's fine. If we don't go say hi, he'll act like a scorned lover. Nadam was made for war, Elise. Ever since we came into this world, we have fought. In the Nadam, blood was shed, and lives were lost. Brown earth was stained crimson, and Zayla wept. But crimson is the dusk, and the dawn, death and rebirth, an ending to mark a new beginning. We who are born are destined to die. As the seasons turn, we are born again, thus spoke the first. So you see, we harbor no hatreds. The Nadam is the Nadam, and what comes after is what comes after. Well, that's a nice mindset. If you say so, the dawn throw first, then. Yeah. Yes, and I shall accompany you. 
Hopefully it'll just let me teleport there, because I do not want to have to walk. Holy fuck. There's way too much shit to get done, and very little time to do it. Speak with Nagni. Oh, thank god. Okay. Teleport, please. No, do not use a ticket. It is literally only 144 gil. If I could not afford that, I would be a miser. Or a popper. One of the two. Alright. Sprint my ass over here. Speak to Magni. And then head down to Dorthal Kai. Which, I did not fucking talk to their falcon porter, so I'll have to walk again. God damn it. But at least I have mount speed increase, so I'll be able to get there quicker. Hey. The sun is disinclined to entertain you, entertain you at length. Speak your purpose in coming. <laughs> <laughs> Humble as ever. Should I be humble in the presence of inferiors? I am a child of Azim, and you are not. You tri your triumph in the Nadam does not raise you to such heights. Bitch, please. Batu will not be joining us. He was wounded in the Nadam. His hurts are grave, and he requires rest. But he will walk again in time. Though it is no business of yours, such pity does not become Han. We are al not allies, traveler. Far from it. The Nadam will come again, and with it our rule. I say again, why have you come? To bid us surrender the Dawn Throne to the Mole. Nay, the Mole are beholden to the will of the gods, and they would not have us reside here. The Oranir and the Baduga may remain. We are here... Uh, we are for Yansha, and wish to speak of your part in the coming war. Ah, the Dolmans and the Iron Men. I remember our pact. Remember the call and the Oranir will answer. Full glad am I to hear it. We, are, uh, we have preparations to attend to, and we'll send for you soon. The gods are kind. I am sure the Orinir will prove a great boon in the days to come. <laughs> of the dusk, a maiden gentle and ethereal, a dancer in the morning mist, and a warrior besides. Look into my eyes, child! See you, Azim! Are you my Nama? <laughs> nope. I, I know not of what you speak, Brother Magni, but I am certain you are mistaken. Quite. He's like, damn. Another lost chance to wet my dick. <laughs> we should get going, right now! Indeed. I still say Sadu is his. Like, they should just get over their differences and fuck once and they'll be fine. But holy shit, do they butt heads all the time. Alright, anyways. Ah, <sighs> goddamn. Come Frostworm, we must away. And what a fucking trip we have. Holy shit. I'll talk to the Falcon Porter, but I doubt that I remembered to talk to them. Hey. Good evening. Do you wish to hire one? Yes, I do. Yeah. God fucking damn it. Alright. Come, Frostwim. But not on my face. And... Splat. Alright. Let's run my happy ass down all the way over there. Talk to them. Doro Illo. I should probably run over and grab that Aetherite at some point. Because there's a path right there. 
You know what? Let's just go ahead and... No, no, no. I'll grab that. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just get over here. Get the Aether Netch. Wow, it's way the fuck up there. Um, can I even get to that? How would I even... There's gotta be a path up there. It wouldn't just be something you have to fly to get to, right? Because that would be retarded. I can hear my kid playing with her Legos and blocks in the room. As long as she's not bashing on the door, I, don't, I just don't care. It'll be fine. How the fuck? Um, I can see how it's kind of sloped over there. So maybe it's over here. The path up. I doubt it. Maybe there's an elevator? Or something? You've discovered a new location. Uh... Okay. The mini-map shows that there's legit no way up there. Um, that I can see. Maybe I have to pass through here. Looks like there's a way up there. Let's get over here and... S are these elephant men? Yes, yes they are. Uh, okay. I don't think there's any way up there. It definitely does not look like there is. And I certainly didn't see a path inside here, although I might be mistaken on that part. Something's glowing blue over here. Just crystals. Maybe if I take the long way around inside here, there would be a way up. No. Yeah, no, there doesn't seem to be a way. How disappointing. Like, Jesus. It's kind of really frustrating. How the hell are you supposed to get up there without the ability to fly? There has to be a way. But then again, there are many places that you can't get to without flying in many of the Stormblood areas. Because they really wanted to encourage people to fly. That's like, suffocatingly annoying. If that's even a thing. A river that goes straight through. Okay, yeah. There's no way to get there. I'm sorry I wasted time on that, but I had to make sure. Maybe there will be a path uh, opened up later. Who knows. Nope, no way up. And you can't Skyrim up shit, like, uh, in this game, fortunately. Hundred and one revelations. God, we only have one book of revelations here. Anyways. Let's not forget to talk to the damn Falcon Porter over here. Um, as soon as I can find them. There probably isn't one, is there? Nope. 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 No wonder. Hey, Sado. Warriors. Greetings, my lady. We have come to you to open. Uh, we come to you on our journey south, bound for Yansha, where your comrades await. How fare you and yours in the wake of the Nadam? Many were wounded, some few to the death. Resplendent were their souls in the chaos. It was a good battle, a good day to die. Soon we shall greet them again. And mayhap one who went before them also 
Gesser's seed has quickened in his lover. When the child is born, we shall see who waits behind its eyes. Oh, good. It's nice to know that Gesser had a lover before he died. Already, we must look to the next Nadam. He must grow strong of body and mind. And your war will help us do so. Say the word and we will fly to the field. Aye. Of that I have no doubt. You are of the Darthal. The Darthal. There is one thing we would ask you. The magic you use to seal the passage to the south. Will you unmake them? If that is what you wish. When next we come together, it will be on the great battlefield against the common foe. I trust you will fight with the same fervor you demonstrated during the Nadam. <laughs> and you, ancient one, will be the demon I know you to be. Aunt Les would be a disappointment. <laughs> All right. She has a very deep bell. Jeez. Any further and she'd snap in half. Alright. Let's get over here. And fucking... Get where we need to go. Jesus. I wasted like 10 minutes with that fucking thing. Rudra. XP bonus. It's not enough of a bonus, trust me. Only the 70 plus uh, fates would give enough with an XP bonus. Hey Serena, to be worth doing, I mean. Saru Khan has done her part. The passage will deliver you to Doma. It is here we must part ways until the day you call us to battle. It won't be long, I know, but take care of yourself, Serena, and tell your grandmother and the others again how much we appreciate everything they did for us. Oh, I will. I oh, nearly forgot. Here's another gift for you. Uh, thanks? Uh, it's a red... Uh, wait, is this the banner of the Mole Tribe? It is not the most practical of gifts, but we nevertheless wish to present it to you. I do not fully understand what has befallen Doma, or your homeland, Mace, but I do understand that you and yours have suffered terribly. The Mole place their faith in the gods, and in turn they shepherd us. They watch over us and keep us. We pray they show you the same favor. As it was in the Nadam, blood will be shed, your lands engulfed in a storm of fire and steel. Yet as it did here, it shall mark a new beginning there. May you ever walk in the crimson, for in crimson there is life, there is liberation. Ha <laughs> ha! Nicely said. Thank you for your prayers, Serena. We shall remember them. Oh, she totally has a lady boner for him. Until we meet again. All right, let's get moving. Bye. And a meteor falls and crashes on her. <laughs> ah, jeez. Mole banner, nice. Yet another thing to take up space in my inventory. Crimson Footprints. What title did I just get? Uh, Step Warrior. No thanks. Hey, Hien. The Hour of Reckoning. The time has come for Lord Hien to return to Doma. Right then. To the House of the Fierce with me, my friends. Can I teleport straight there? Do I have to walk through? Is that a thing? Speak with Gosetsu. Ah, oh, goddammit. Alright.
Alright, fine. Yansha. Authored. Eiko Setsu. I do not... I have not used this road before. Ah, I recognize this place. The House of the Fierce should lie somewhere to the south. I will go on ahead and inform the sentries of our master's return. That is a big tiger. A rainbow tiger. Pretty kitty. Alright, let's get moving. Do I... Yes, fuck. Question is, do I have to walk there? Yes, yes, I do. It will not let me just teleport there. That would be too fucking easy. God damn it. Can I... Can I get up the slope here, or do I have to go all the way over there to get up the slope? Nope, I can get up here. Okay. Valley of the Fallen Rainbow. Hey, Ian. Here we are. I wonder if they have all gathered inside, waiting. Perhaps expecting a speech, or such. Well, no matter. I shall do what I have to do. This should unlock. Oh, that's right. There wasn't a teleport aetherite in here when I was last here. It is now, though. It's completely restored. Brothers and sisters, pray forgive me my absence. It has been far too long. Lord Hian. She acts all surprised. <laughs> She's seen him before. Gosetsu told us of your trials and tribulations on the steppe. Would that I had been present to witness your victory, my lord. Our victory, Yugiri, owed as much to each of my stalwart comrades as it did to me. Now rise. I will not suffer this excess of formality any longer. Alfino and Alize Levieux, I presume? I am told we owe you much. It is a pleasure to meet you both. The pleasure is ours, Lord Hian. Though we were born and raised a world apart, our values are one and the same. Freedom, justice, liberty. Each of which Doma shall soon enjoy once more. Hopefully. I understand you have brought an army. Indeed. The Zayla tribes of the Azim Steppe have pledged their military might to the cause. Good. We, meanwhile, have secured the support of the Confederacy and a not insignificant number of your countrymen. The Blue Kojin, too, have expressed a willingness to join the fight, provided you agree to certain trade agreements following the liberation of Doma. The Shinobi will render what aid they can. However, Suino Sato refused to answer our call. Suino Sato? Who? No matter. What forces we have amassed far exceed my original expectations. You have my thanks. You should know that Xenos departed Doma not long after you left to find Lord Hian. We know not the reason why, but it would seem he was eager to return to Gear Abania. Oh, great. What? Have you heard anything from the Resistance? There hasn't been another attack, has there? Totaru assures me they are quite well. You need not worry. If anything, this turn of events would seem to be to our advantage. But there the good news ends. Yotsuyu retains her position as acting viceroy, and we have reports that the garrison at Doma Castle is preparing for a massive operation. We suspect that the Empire's attempt to eliminate you on the steppe may have been a prelude to a larger effort to purge the remaining pockets of resistance within Doma. Oh, great. The hour of reckoning is upon us. Then victory will soon be ours. <laughs> the Han has spoken, and I, for one, am not inclined to argue. Damn right. <laughs> in this place, in this moment, I call upon you all. Twenty-five years of oppression, of tyranny, of shame. It ends with us. We will prevail.
Yes, we will. Yeah, off now. Once more, I welcome you back. It is good to see you again, Creed. Ah, yes, there is another recent development we sh neglected to share with you. Alice and I have been hard at work attempting to restore the Aetherite here to its former glory, and I am pleased to inform you that we succeeded. Suffice it, su suffice it to say, it'll be a boom for travel. Well, for those replete with anima, like you at least. You're not wrong. Uh, before I talk to you, I need to go and do this right now. If I forget, this will become a massive pain in the ass. Okay, that's done. Now I can teleport back whenever I need to. Which will probably be many times. Oh god. Hey, Alphano. The room where it happened. Alphano is devising a cunning strategy to reclaim Doma Castle. I imagine you are eager to hear the peculiars of our, or the particulars of our plan. Allow me a moment to gather everyone's attention. I think Sui no Sato refers to Kagane. If all are in agreement, I will outline my plan to retake Doma Castle. First, Lise and the Doman Irregulars will conduct a series of raids against Imperial targets throughout the surrounding area, with the aim of drawing the garrison's attention. Shortly thereafter, our Zayla allies will launch a surprise attack on the castle's airborne defenses. In this way, we will prevent the enemy's airships from rendering support, and cut off one means of escape. Okay. Alize and I, together with the Shinobi, will exploit the ensuing chaos to infiltrate the moon gates and disable the Magitek field generators. Uh, the fog is kind of obscuring the thing. Once the barrier is down, we will be free to cross the one river and reach Doma Castle. It is at this point that we must turn to our Confederate and Kojin allies. They will commence to bombard the castle with cannon fire, while sailing west towards the Doman Enclave. Wait, the Enclave? Why would you want them to sail away from the castle? Because the Enclave is home to countless civilians. Once pressed, the Imperials may well think to take them hostage, and I would fain forestall any such attempt. Smart. Very smart. After we have secured the Enclave, we may lay siege to Doma Castle directly. The main strength of the Doman Liberation Front, under Lord Hien's command, shall be committed to this endeavor, as will you and your redoubtable allies. Thanks. I'll crush it from the inside. The rest is simple. We scour the castle for the Viceroy, we find her, and we subdue her. Without their leader, what remains of the Imperial's morale will crumble, and they will surrender or attempt to flee. And Doma will be free. Nice. Fuck yeah. Your thoughts, Lord Hien? If any points were unclear or gave you cause for concern, I should be glad to go over them with you. Nay, tis a fine plan. You have a talent for this. That much is plain. You know what they say about the best laid plans. We shall carry out Alphano's plan to the letter. Time is of the essence, as you know, so let us each see to our respective preparations. Carry on. Woo! Six quests left until the start of Doma Castle. I really, 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 really want to get to it before the beginning of the next episode. There is no shortage of tasks which needs to be completed before we can launch our attack. If you have a moment, perhaps you would lend a hand. That said, I have only just returned. It would be better to speak with Alphano to find out how you may be of service. Alright. 
Jade Setsuna. Trying to keep busy. Full glad am I to hear it. There is one task which comes to mind. As I explained during my briefing, Alice and I will need to infiltrate the moon gates to disable the Magitek field generators. Though I provide myself, though I pride myself on my knowledge of various subjects, I must confess I lack knowledge uh, in this particular one, which is why I turn to an expert. I have been conversing with Sid via Tataru, attempting to ascertain the design of the generators based on our limited intelligence. Most recently, he sent a parcel which contains some documents which he believes may be of use. I would like you to go to Kagane and bring them back here. In the meantime, I shall continue to work with our shinobi allies to plant a path into the gates. Safe travels, Creed, and thank you. Alright. So I need to teleport to Kagane. Teleport. Ah, oh, Hingashi is Kagane. So what the fuck is Sui no Sato? Is that the Kojin? Or... No, 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 no. Sui no Sato are the rain. The, uh, the white-scaled, uh, Al-Ra. It's understandable that they won't fight with us. Uh, they're very isolated. Uh, and very insular. And I totally want a sucker after I finish with this. A reward for working hard. And hopefully the sugar will coat my throat and make it hurt less. Ah, oh, Jesus. Anyways, uh, Red Bazaar. Alright, the Ruby Bazaar. There we go. The Ruby Price is a ship. The Ruby Bazaar is the building. Yeah. Out of the rain. Hey. Greetings on it, sir. Will you be entering the Ruby Bazaar offices? Of course I will. Please show me the way. Hey Tesaro, you're looking adorable today. Ah, Creed! What are you doing here? I thought you were off fighting nomads on the Azim Steppe. Yeah, I was. Oh, you beat them! Good show! A shame I would, didn't get to see it. Alphano has been keeping me apprised of the situation in Doma. I may not be any good in a physical fight, but in a uh, paperwork fight, I am the true Han. Yeah! <laughs> Adorable. Please give me the paperwork. Oh, Tataru got a groove back. Tataru has grown rather uh, accustomed to our life in Kugane. You're here for the parcel, Sid sent, right? Wait a moment and I'll be right out. <laughs> okay. She gives him one look and he's like, ah, shit. And he rushes to get it. It arrived not long ago. A porter delivered it to our offices, along with various other knickknacks from Eorzea. Sid regrets that he didn't come here in person. Apparently, his hunt for the dragon and... Omega demands his full attention, you see. Still, he was reasonably confident that the documents he provided will be enough for Alphano to do the work himself. So as soon as the parcel gets here, we can open it up and see what's inside. Pardon my interruptions, but the parcel in question was it the one you placed on the shelf in the back for safekeeping. I believe so, yes. Why do you ask? Well, you see, on closer inspection, said parcel appears to have been addressed to the Sekisugumi barracks. Though it does indeed bulge with a quantity of paper reminiscent of that rather large instruction manual, the lingering scent of lilac leads me to conclude is, in fact, a sizable collection of love letters. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Impossible! The porter uh, was carrying a parcel addressed to us. I saw the writing with my own eyes. Oh, I have no doubt in the least. However, as he was tasked with a number of deliveries, I can only presume he handed you another parcel by mistake. This is a disaster! We have to find that porter right this instant! Or we could just go to the Sekizagumi. That's probably where it's at. My, she can move quickly when she has a mind so. And so quickly she neglected to take the love letters with her. They too must be redirected to the rightful recipient. Alright. I'll be your fucking delivery boy just this once, but remember, I can still kill you. 
Uh, they should also aid you in tracking down the right porter. They keep records of their deliveries and so forth, after all. The man in question is a middling height and build, not unlike myself. Black hair, short, terribly helpful in Kagane, I know. A cheerful sort, wearing bright colors, as I recall. I will send a few of my men out to search, but in the meantime, why don't you take the parcel and see if you can't track him down yourself? I will wait here, on the off chance he realizes his mistake and returns. Okay. Alright. Let's find this guy. Search for the overworked porter. Great. There's way the hell up there, which is next to the Rakuza district. So let's teleport over to the Rakuza district just to make the, my life a little bit easier. I'm so glad these tiny little aetherite shards don't cost money to teleport with. It seems really silly that the large aetherite shards do cost uh, coins to use. Alright, looking for an overworked porter. Addled. Assistant. Languid youth. Definitely not who I'm looking for. They'll literally be called overworked porter. I do so believe. Uh, I ran down that road and did not see them, so they should be back here. Yep, there he is. Yo. Ah, good morning to you, sir, but I have no time to chat. I have to head to the Bakari Row. Or was it the holstery? Ugh, I have no time. Here, lilac scented love letter. Huh? Aye, I recognize that parcel. I delivered it to the Ruby Bazaar not long ago. What of it? It's not for them. Huh? A mistake? For the sake of Zagumi, you say? Fuck! Ah, uh, you're right. How stupid of me. Fortunately, I have yet to visit the barracks. This is for you. Yes? I'll take the other in exchange. I'm glad he'll just do that. Alright. Back to the Ruby Bazaar. Not the price. Ruby Bazaar. Speaking of which, I was wrong. The Ruby Price is not a ship. It's an area. That's a teleport out of uh, Kugane straight to where the Confederacy are. Well, the island just before the Confederacy. Is she outside? No, okay. Yes, please take me inside. Just open the damn door. Because I can't do it myself, if it would seem. Apparently I'm too strong. The door would splinter into tiny little shards if I tried to touch it. Hello, Tataru. I'm sorry, I couldn't find him. I guess we just have to hope he realizes his mistake and returns soon. Nope, I've got it. Though this parcel weighs no less than the other, it lacks the scent of lilac and is therefore much less likely to contain someone's misdirected woo. I would hope not. Oh god. That's it, that's the parcel you found him! Though knowing our luck, Sid put the wrong papers in here. Nope, it is. These are the documents detailing the operation of the Magitech field generators often over requested. Thanks. I can only imagine what would have happened had we sent Creed back to Doma with a parcel full of love letters. The look on Alphano's face when he reads the first page. On second thought, I'm a little disappointed if we didn't. Everyone's working so hard to fight for Doma's freedom, and here I am, making some silly mistakes. It won't happen again, Creed. I'll keep working hard to bring you and the others useful information. If you hear anything new, we'll contact you straight away! Oh, but you may be pleased to hear that we have brokered an arrangement between the company and the Confederacy. They require armaments we provide. Uh, discreetly, and at a reasonable price. I'm sure Lord Lerito was pleased to hear it. Haha, <laughs> indeed he was. Indeed he was. Well, it seems our time is at an end. Give Alphano and Alize my regards, will you? Alright. 
back to the House of the Fierce. Wikipedia booty. Hey. Oh, it seems you like just yesterday you were here. Our plans are proceeding apace. Do you have the documents? Magitech Field Generator Manual. Never one to take undue risks, it would seem Sid thought it best to send Alphano a massive manual uh, detailing the operation of a Magitech Field Generator to ensure that the boy was prepared for every eventuality. Or possibly to see if he would read the entire thing or simply give up and whack the generator with a wrench. Which works 9 out of 10 times anyways. <laughs> Excellent. This looks to be exactly what we need. Assuming our shinobi escort can see us safely inside the moon gates, I should have no trouble deactivating the barrier. Good, good. That is one less thing to worry about. I know, right? Seeds of despair. Dancer's arms, gunbreaker's arms, dome and steel gun blade. If you seek further employment, Alphano can point you in the right direction. Should you wish to further uh, for further employment, mayhap you speak with Alice. I believe she was planning to search the surrounding area for Imperial patrols. If you go now, you may be able to catch her before she departs. Good to know. Well, where is she? On the other side of the wall. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Subaru. Do you know there's a car company named after you? Hey. Oh hey, an Alri Samurai. Have I told you my plans? And you wish to come with me? Well, far be it from me to refuse you. If truth be told, I'm not entirely sure of what I expect to find. In the wake of your failed assassination attempt, the Imperials demonstrated uncharacteristic restraint. There were no public executions, and not a single village was put to the torch. But as I mentioned earlier, our latest intelligence does suggest a purge is imminent. For all we know, they could be on the field even now as we speak, surveilling their targets and making plans. If so, we need to put a stop to it. Let us begin our search to the north. Alright. Which would be that way. And I believe I have to go this way in order to get out. Come, Frostwyrm. We must run like the wind. Bullseye. Ride like the wind. Alright. Is it gonna have me do James Bond shit again? I hope not. It was fun the first time. All quiet for now. Follow me to the next location. Okay. South of the prism lake. Ow. The water is brown. Gross. But it's flowing, so... No Imperial Patrol near our headquarters, then. Good. Last thing we need is a repeat of Rogger's Reach. Even so, it would be repugnant uh, to search a little longer. Right? Okay. The freaking name of this quest just makes me on edge. Seeds of Despair. Really? the fuck is gonna happen? Oh wow, a tiger. She killed the shit out of it. Not exactly the enemy I was worried about. Oh, damn it all. I just can't leave the carcass lying in the middle of the road. You've gotten stronger. Next to you, I feel like a child playing at swords and sorcery. Though, mayhap it suits me better than books. 
I owe much to Kote I met on my travels. He was a master of these techniques and kindly agreed to teach me the fundamentals. But I never could warm to common rapiers. I vastly prefer using a blade of my own creation, despite the toll it took on me. But Anjia's gift was a godsend, to be honest. Anyway, we're falling behind. We should split up and try to recoup some lost time. We've heard rumors of Imperial soldiers soaking about disguised as villagers. One was supposedly spotted near the ribbons to the south of here. Go and see if there's anything out of the ordinary. Alright. By the way, the Makote she's talking about is actually the trainer for the Red Mage quests. Uh, which is hilarious because he mentions her a couple of times during the quests. Uh, if you are a red mage. It's one of those things that it's like a job specific reference. Uh, like if you're a dragoon and you meet Astinian for the first time, he'll call you a uh, fellow Azure Dragoon. Or if you're a samurai and you meet Gosetsu for the first time, he'll call you a fellow samurai. You know, all those kinds of things. Hey. Uh, hello there, young man. My associates. And I are searching for fertile soil for farming, and this land caught our eye. Yeah, I call bullshit with that. You doubt my words? You suspect we have other purposes coming here? How vexing to be questioned in this manner. Very well, he desires the truth, and he shall have it. Deal with him. And then he runs away like a fucking coward. I slash. I slash. I love how strong that attack is. Oh my god. It's just so deep. Ah, fuck you guys. They hit me with an attack and I immediately recover all of that HP with a single soul eater. <sighs> gotta find the guy that got away and stab him to death. Ah, it looks like Alice caught him instead. Yeah. Hey. See, so you caught the guy. I saw them attack you while this one fled. Since you seem to have everything in hand, I decided to capture him. An Imperial, I presume. Yeah. I knew it would come to this, but at the hands of a Westerner, a Toman would at least know the rights. You think you understand, but you do not. She will burn it all before she surrenders. She will never kneel again, nor should she. Ah, fuck you. Ah! Creed! God damn it, Echo. Yeah, I saw that coming. Rest assured. <laughs> it's a guy. Rest assured, the Numeray will be will receive due compensation. Young Asahi has great potential. That much is plain. If he applies himself, he may one day be granted the opportunity to go to Garlemald and learn from some of the leading authorities in the field of Magitech. Few citizens are afforded such treatment, however, much less few people in the provinces. You will need to do more. Oh, oh, of course. Have no doubt that we shall. My husband and I only want the best Imperial education for our boy. I've finished planting the rice, Mother. Not while the officer is here, Yatsuyu. Inside, now! Oh, great. I'm seeing a flashback of her. Yes, Mother. Ah, good lord. You did not mention you had a daughter. My sister's not mine. Come, you rest her soul. She's utterly hopeless. But one cannot choose one's family. In 
Indeed. She is of age to receive an education as well, is she not? Yet we have no records. I trust I need not remind you of your legal obligations. No, no. No, no, of course not, but she is weak and sickly. Some days she will not have the strength to leave her bed. Though a thought occurs to me, mayhap we can come to an understanding. Gross. 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 Oh, huh. That was a near thing. What happened? You were talking, then all of a sudden you were somewhere else. Did one of the soldiers hit you in the head or something? No, it's just the power of the echo kicking in. It really has the worst timing. Well, if you say so, we should go and tell the others what happened here. Alright. Wait, are we just gonna leave his corpse here in the middle of the road? I hate this pedophilic motherfucker. Yeah, screw it. Leave him for the dogs to eat. Do I need to go? Yes, all the way back. And now I see why it was called the Seeds of Despair. Because that fucker is the reason why Yatsuyu ended up where she was as a prostitute. God damn it. That's just gross. Yeah, let's see. Thank God. You didn't come with me, but you did. You didn't have to come with me, but you did, and for that I am grateful. I told the others of our encounter with the disguised soldiers, though we disposed of the bodies. Except for one. It was only a matter of time before their comrades take note of their absence. As if we needed any more reason to act quickly. Are you sure you're alright, by the way? You've been awful quiet since we returned. I'm fine. Just give me the materia. Limits of our endurance. If you still want for work, Alice has a suggestion. I'd tell you to rest and leave the others. I really leave the rest of the others, but seeing as that it isn't in your nature, Lise returned a moment ago, looking a bit worried. It would seem that trouble is afoot and am I. You may as well go and ask her about it. As for me, I will not impose upon you any further. Alright. Lise is over here. I like these headphones, I do, but... The way how it's shaped, uh, how the cushion on the top is shaped, it pinches the top of my head. It becomes uncomfortable after about two hours of wearing them. Hey, Lise. We barely got in a farmer as it is, huh? What's up? Oh, you're here to help? That's great. I've been trying to help the villagers in Namai get ready for an operation, but we've run into a few problems. You remember how we're supposed to stir up trouble as a diversion, right? Well, the thing is, we don't have enough armor to go around. I thought the Doman Liberation Front would be able to furnish us with some, but it seems not the case. I was able to go and tell Issei. Why don't you come too? Or she was about to go tell Issei. Why don't we come too? Okay. Is she a dark elf? Yes. Huh. She's like classic dark elf coloration dark gray skin. I say classic. What I mean is uh, Bethesda coloration. She's got the dark gray skin and the black hair. In other games, dark elves have either purple skin and white hair or brown skin and white hair. Or brown skin and black hair. So I guess it's not really the classic design, it's just the Bethesda design. Which is not exactly the same thing. Hey, you say. Oh, you're here too. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. He's a guy. Oh, you're here too. I heard about the soldiers you and Alice encountered. 
I'm glad you're all right. <laughs> right then. You say we gathered up all the rope we could find in the village. And every tool with an edge. But it's still not enough. Even a hoe would suffice, but there are none more to spare. Thank you, Chikasega. Ryo-sen could use a hand if there is nothing else. As for the tools, I may have some in my home. Go and search it. Take whatever means you need. Asami. I made rice balls for everyone, including some special ones for Lady Yugiri. Can I go and give them to her? You, you silly girl! Of course you can! Hurry! You never know when she'll be about to leave on a secret mission. Tee hee hee hee. Sorry about that. Everyone's been trying to contribute since Lord Hean returned. There's so much to worry about. You're doing well, you see? Though I have to ask, have you any luck finding more armor? Unfortunately, no. Unlike weapons, there are no substitutes for proper protection. It's not like we need full uh, suits of Imperial plates, but we're not soldiers. If we lack with, if we attack without any equipment, we'll be slaughtered. The Domain Liberation Front doesn't have any armor to spare. I suppose we could ask Hancock, but there's no telling how long it can take for him to send us supplies. Do you have an armorer in the village, or anyone with skill to fashion armor? There is one man. A craftsman who fled the Enclave. He is experienced, and may be able to help. I don't know if you can persuade him to, though. But maybe you could with me, uh, if you come with me. Aye. His name is Tusun Rambla, and he lives in Kusabla, in the south. Come with me. Okay, Thank you then. all for watching, peeps. If you liked the video, please click that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, your host, Zad19, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.